Hey, it's me, Javine. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Ender All Forgotten Stories. In the last episode, mm, we cleaned up some side... Eye. Excuse me? What do you say, darling? Want to spend some time together? No. Mate, your name is literally whore. No. <laughs> you don't even have a real name. Uh, actually, what? Mmm, a real... Pr oh, nothing even happens if you interact with her. Okay, well... <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, welcome back, ladies and gents. In the last episode, we cleaned up a lot of side quests. Uh, and in this one, we're going to do probably uh, one or two side quests and then get back on track with the main quest, which, as I've said, is really interesting. Really, um, I think you'll like it quite a bit, at least from what I did, which is not that much. So, let's do this one. Put off the evil hour. I spoke with Natalia Moonskin, who's working for the apothecary from the pa uh, Pest House. Those need ten batches of red vine root, a rare herb to cure infected people. However, the merchant Kabar Thorwall only sells them for horrendous prices, and if the apothecary cannot get new roots soon, ten odd new graves will have to be dug shortly. I should speak with Kabar Thorwall, who Lots is right over design. here. World has it there higher in the game. Give him a white berth and play with you. Now I've been told you're selling red vine root. <sighs> oh, by the name of the sun. Won't this ever stop? Tell Nathalia, the apothecary, or whoever sent you that the price stays. Nathalia said that without the root, dozens of people will die. Doesn't that mean anything to you? It does, actually. Yes. But it does not change the fact that I need to live somehow, too. And that 300 per sheep is already a fair price. Go on. Ask those upper city merchants. You're lucky if they sell it below 500. <sighs> Listen. I know exactly what you think. This ruthless bastard, how greedy, how evil, and so on and so forth. But that's not how it is, believe me. So, back to business. Are you looking for supplies? If not, just shove off. Okay, so we can just buy the roots for 300 pennies, which is quite a bit. Now let's take a look at our options. Bring Natalia 10 sheaves of red vine root or search through Kabar's sleeping area in the communes. Well, I don't really want to do that. But at the same time, I really also don't want to give 300 penny coins to this dude. So the question is like, what is morally correct? I honestly don't think it's morally correct to steal it from his uh, room. I really don't. But at the same time, I would like to finish this quest. Okay, perfect. Communal barrack. I'm not sure if he should not, should or should not see us go through here, but we're going to go through here anyways. Yeah, this is, sorry, we just, we need our money. You know what I mean? Um, there's something in there. Okay, this almost seems too easy. Read the letter. Or witness Kabar's meeting with the Quidam or Kidam. Okay, Kabar. As soon as possible at the corpse pit. No weapons, no stupid ideas. Um, okay, well, I don't think we need to steal that. We'll just read it. Now, that's interesting. I've done this quest as well, but I'm not really remembering much about it, to be honest. Um, I might have just literally paid? I, I don't know. But regardless, we have a new destination, the corpse pit. I'm not sure how close we are. really don't want to get... Why are you stopping? Really don't want to get accosted by okay, looks like tar pit. I mean cabin cavern to the tar well, it, it's a pit, but I'm not sure if it's the correct pit. Uh, so let's take a look at our map. Okay, so where are we trying to get to? The Undercity Corpse Pit. Yeah, alright, so it looks like we just wrap around here. We'll get over there. Yeah, I uh we did beat this quest uh on Twitch, but I don't remember if I just gave him the money. I probably did? I, I, I can't remember. Either way. But I'm curious to see what this is all about. Although I vaguely remember this too. Well, we'll find out. I'll, I'll, I'll remember if this was a thing or not. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay, we have a couple of mud rats here. Jeez, I mean, look at this! They're gonna kick- This is ridiculous, dude. No! No, 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 no. Okay. Activate assassination. Pop it. Run away. Oh my god. Alright. Hunting longbow. Come on, draw the bow, dude! Oh, Jesus. Just ridiculous, man. Like, why does a rat get to kill me in, like, five bites where I need, like, you know, six or seven bow shots to kill it? Makes no sense. Oh, 
Oh boy. Okay, that's one down. There were two, wasn't there? Oh, Jesus. Lost one? What is that? Whoa! Can you... Okay, we could not get trapped on everything. That'd be amazing. And that's a Draugr, and it's gonna kill me. Or a lot... Oh my god, I'm dead. Um... I really don't want to use all these, man. I really don't. But I don't remember the last time we saved, either. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's use Cold Knight. Wow. Alright. Great. Yeah. Love this game, but my god, the difficulty sometimes. Let's take a look at the difficulty level 2 for this quest. Okay, that's what I figured. Um, so, we don't even have a difficulty for this. Yeah, it doesn't have 1, 2, or 3 stars or anything. Alright, well, let's use the Hunting Longbow. And assassination. Try to get the jump on this rat. See, I mean, just look at that damage. It's not even that that much. After putting perks and perks into this. Am I even hitting him? What is going on? Ugh. Holy crap. See, so we have to, like, cheese just to kill a dang rat. We have to, like, literally cheese the situation by, like, hopping over here. If we can't... Oh, I guess we can't. Okay, well, that's what I get for trying to cheese, I suppose. That's a health potion right there. Alright, once again. Yeah, I have to, like, literally get into these little spots here. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to do this, but I'm sorry. I'm not going to waste two of my four health potions on one dang rat. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I mean, look how much damage we have to do to this dang thing. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. I'm gonna try my best to not change the difficulty, but, like, you know, come on, man. Okay, um, let's equip Cold Knight. Let's also wait for whatever's in the top right to wear off. I have no idea what that is. Uh, quick save here, and then now we have these lost ones, which are gonna be far worse to deal with, I think. Fish, maggot, flesh, maggot, sufferer. Okay, so here we have... No lost one? Uh, excuse me? Where was the lost one? Well, I don't know. But we have the meeting up ahead. But I just don't have that much. What the blazes do you expect me to do? Please, my dame. You need to understand. And you need to understand that we are just the messengers. A debt that you don't pay is a debt we can't pay to the father. And the last thing we want to do is disappoint the father. Or do we, Roban? We don't. Five hundred pennies until next week. After that, we will make sure this corpse pit finally lives up to its name. Understood? Yes, my dear. Of course. Glad to hear that. You'll hear from us. Okay, speak with Kabar. And there's also another quest marker over there, but I don't think we can actually deal with that. What is this stuff? No idea what these green crystals are. We've got a chest. Uh, blueprint iron claymore, iron mace, steel greatsword, some penny coins, a lockpick, some salt, uh, and three spell tones. Holy crap. That was a really great chest. Okay, let's talk with Kabar. What the? You? Who was that? I... <sighs> Listen. For your own good, I advise you to just... Turn around. This is nothing you want to get involved in. It really isn't. You're being blackmailed, right? By the Rolada. No. I was simply naive. And now I have to live with the consequences. About two years ago, my son died. He drowned in the canals. That whole thing? I couldn't handle it. Business went to shit, and so did I. And when I was finally able to think straight again, I looked for help. You took a loan from the Relata? Yes. I suppose you can figure out the rest. Probably. You couldn't pay back, pay back the rates anymore, so this is why you refused to sell those roots for less. Yes. What other choice do I have? As pathetic as it sounds, right now the apothecary and their infected are the only reliable source of income I have. Especially with that whole red madness thing going on on the surface. But you've heard it. They just can't afford buying it for that much. That way you won't get anything at all. Yes, I know. But ten pennies less, and I can't pay back the next rate. It doesn't matter what I do. It's the wrong thing. 
And I suppose you can't just explain the situation to the Relata. If you can say that, you don't know who we're talking about. I don't actually, but I'm supposing that will come to come to cross them eventually. Can you ask the guard for help? I hope you're not being serious. As if those redcoats would risk getting their shiny armor dirty. So what now? <sighs> Good question. What now? You brought this on yourself. Tell me where you store the root or what? I no, I don't want to do that. What the heck? Uh, no, I don't want to do that option. That's a little over the top, don't you think? What the? You? I... <sighs> no. About two years ago. Yes, I suppose you can... Yes. What other choice do I have? As pathetic as it sounds, right now... Yes, I know. But t <sighs> Good question. What now? Jesus, okay, well, I, I don't know, that's an odd turn. I don't want to threaten this man by murdering him. I, honestly, like, I I totally understand where he's coming from. So that is odd. Um, how do we do this quest? The heck? Speak with Kabar, bring the Thalia ten sheaves of red vine. Well, I guess we're going to have to put this one on hold until we can, like, legitimately find the vine root in the wilds or something. I'm surprised there's not another way around this. Um, but yeah, it looks like that's about it. Okay, well, let's do the main quest then. Yeah, okay, we'll keep we'll keep an eye out for ten sheaves of red vine root. I'm not sure exactly what that looks like or where that is, but keep an eye out for it. So let's do the main quest now, Taming the Waves. Constantine, Constantine said the uh, young mage called Lashiri can heal my arcane fever with a special ritual. By doing so, help me to learn to control my magic without years of meditation. She currently leads an excavation site in the northern heartlands called Old Roshengrath. Optional to use the signpost in the Sun Temple. Optional to use the Myrad to travel to the northern heartland. Meet Lashiri in Old Roshengrath. You can see it's two-star difficulty. So, let us attempt to do that. Is there a... Oh, oh, oh. let's quick save. Okay. So there is the Arc Southern Quarter, uh, quarter Myrad Tower. We'll go ahead and use that. This is the first instance of the Myrad that we'll see. Didn't use this too much. I think only once or twice in the, the last time that I played this. Okay. Why is it telling... Okay. Well, yeah. We definitely want to go up here. They just sit on their asses and hope things settle themselves. So this is a Myrad. Does it look at all familiar? Maybe not, but maybe the uh, maybe the animations do just a bit. Let's get a close up of this beautiful boy. Hello there. Yeah, maybe the animations uh, look a little bit familiar. I don't know. Okay, let's bump this back up. All right, hello there. Walk blessed, friend. Where are you headed? Could you tell me something about these creatures, Myrads? How about Myrads? What is there to tell? They're beautiful animals, majestic and wild, and dangerous if you're unlucky enough to run into an untamed one. In the time before the Blood Moon Revolt, a long time ago, tame myrids like this one here was a really rare sight. Nowadays, though, they're pretty common, at least here at Enveril. Pity, somehow. You collected 10 knowledge points. As your reward, you receive a permanent bonus of your skills, a bonus which can get stronger when you gather more knowledge. Neat! I don't know if I ever got that previously. Why pity? Ah, I guess that sounds stupid, but I sometimes long for the times my grandfather lived in. Being a Myrid Warden was far more prestigious back then, and even feared with sublime or keepers. Nowadays, well, you can guess, riding a Myrid has become as ordinary as riding a mule. But, ah, who am I to complain? I see. And how exactly does the flying part work? How do the Myrads know where to go? Oh, well, that's hard to explain. They communicate by clicking sounds. I, as a warden, have been trained to hear them, but you probably can't. And through those clicking sounds, I also tell them where you want to go, before you mount them. Obviously, that only works for routes that the Myrat already knows by heart. That's interesting, but probably really bad, <laughs> considering if you make the wrong clicking noise, you go in the complete opposite direction. I need a flight. Sure, where to? Okay, so let's see here. Uh, I think it's border of the... Huh, I'm not actually sure, so let's leave this real quick. 
Use the Myrad to travel to the northern heartland. Sure. Where to? Okay, so there we go. Man, that must have been really hard to do, actually, huh? Yeah, for anybody that doesn't understand what I was referring to er earlier, obviously that's a reskinned dragon from Skyrim. And, you know, they added dragon riding with dragon born. I believe. Ooh, we got a bunch of experience points there. Um, so, yeah, I assume they programmed that by, like, having you ride the dragon but removing the control from the player. It just. Yeah, uh, uh, it's quite interesting. Now, who is this? Oh, my, another Myrad Hello. Keeper. Okay, so it looks like our objective is quite close. I wanted to do that because it was an optional objective. So now we need to meet Lashiri in Old Roshengrad. And that would, again, seem very close. Actually, why would it spawn me? Okay, let's try hopping up here real quick. Looks like it's right around this, maybe. Man, when you do this so much, as much as I have, you can just feel like how to get over a little mountain like that. I'm sure a lot of you watching know the exact same feeling from playing hours and hours of Elder Scrolls games. Old Russian Grod discovered. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and head inside. Actually, let's make a main save here. Just gotta be always saving, basically. You've heard of always closing? Well, I have to always be saving because this game is ridiculously hard. At the start, at least. Maybe we'll become OP at some point, but... Spelltome Dream Eater. Okay, let's go ahead and rest to restore that little bit of health that we're missing. And Drawly and Crusty Bread. Scroll of Water Breathing Cheap. Some wine. Okay, what is going on here? Yeah, let's make sure to grab everything we can. Blazing Spark. Steel Sword. Old Iron Arrows. Death Spark. Man, how many uh, spell books have we found? It's been like 20 million so far. Shit! Get away from there! Now! Crap, I probably should have looked that way instead of near her. By the prophet's ass, one second later and I would have been scraping your remains off the floor. What in blazes are you doing here anyway? What the heck was that? And where did you suddenly come from? Let's put it this way. I know how to hide when I don't want to be seen. And concerning the explosion, you stepped right into a Kiranian dust crystal. Get a little too close and wait a little too long, and you'll have your ass blown around your ears by an explosion that would put any cannon to shame. Your ass blown around your ears. Now that's a new one. I was sent by a mage named Constantine. Are you Lashiri? Lashiri? <laughs> oh my. The fellow really isn't one for names, is he? I'm Lashari, but never mind that. At least it proves you're not lying. Anyhow, I hope you're not the backup I asked for. I was hoping for someone more, um, impressive. No offense. Yeah, that's pretty offensive, actually. Uh, no, Constantine said that you could perform some kind of ritual on me to help me control my magic. <laughs> is that so? Hmm. Indeed. You have some uncontrolled magic inside you. <sighs> and quite a lot of uncontrolled magic. Not bad. I've never felt anything like this before. Very well. If Constantine insists, I will perform the ritual on you. But it'll have to wait, since I'm up to my neck in this shit, as you've probably noticed. Short version or long version? Which do you prefer? The more I know, the better. Tell me the long version. Fine. I suppose you already know that we, that is me, my assistant, two arcanists, and four keepers are here to do research on, well, on something, which is exactly what we've done these past weeks. But as I went upstairs to get something a couple hours ago, I suddenly heard screaming and the clanging of metal coming from downstairs. As I looked for cover, I saw these two shapes in red robes vanishing into the lower parts of the ruin. I have no idea who they are or why they're here, but to me, they look like mercenaries. Anyway, fact is, my esteemed Indralean colleagues and my assistant are still down there, together with our research, and I want them back. And before you ask, yes, you can help me. You'll have to, actually, if you want me to tame your magic. 
I wouldn't have a chance fighting the mercenaries by myself, but the two of us might be able to do it, provided you can defend yourself, which I'm quite sure you can. What do you say? Are you ready? What exactly is this research you've been doing here? Oh, that's hard to explain. But part of it is finding the answer to the universal question. Why do some people have the nerve to ask irrelevant questions when shit is going down around them? After we've cleaned up the mess, we can do this whole who are you and what are you doing here thing if you want to. But this really isn't the time. Okay, geez, touchy. Exactly how many mercenaries are we talking about? No idea. But I don't think there are more than a dozen. Also, they don't anticipate any resistance, which is to our advantage. All right, let's go. Fine, then follow me. And keep your weapons ready. I think I just heard footsteps down there. Okay, well, I want to use my bow, but... Yeah, unfortunately, it just seems like using Cold Knight far out damages that. Okay, so we've got a lot of mercenaries to cut through, it looks like. Let's make sure to activate assassination and go for the mage first. That's good damn. Okay, we keep getting interrupted, though. Oh, my God. All right, there was a uh, moon carrot up ahead, which we'll make use of. Okay, nice job. Hold on. I'll be right back. Yeah, I saw that there was a moon carrot here, which doesn't heal us fully, but does do a decent amount. Hang on. What's this? Okay, so what is this guy called? Just called a mercenary. We'll take his sword. Oh, another moon carrot. Neat. Okay, uh, some penny coins, a dagger. The prophet's ass. Tons and tons of mercenaries here. I don't believe here. it. What? Their orders. My assistant, Sev. It seems he's the reason these fuckers managed to take us by surprise. You have my sympathy. <sighs> Save it for Sev when I shove this staff up his ass and fire a thunderbolt. Okay, well, before you do that, let me go ahead and loot these dudes, if you don't mind. Um, ooh. Okay, so we can equip the City Guard boots, which is an upgrade. Uh, the City Guard shield, but we're not really using a shield at the moment. The Light City Guard Curus and the Light City Guard Helmet. Uh, all upgrades. Steel Sword of the Guard. All upgrades to our uh, damage resistance. We also have this guy. We already looted that guy. We have note regarding the ex excavation. Magistrate Yaela. I do understand your skepticism, but we are on the right track. This Skurag Mage, and no, this is not meant to... Re what meant to relativize her questionable worldview has found undeniable coherences between these Dealgar stones and the Grand Master's theories. Should she be right, she could be our only chance to get something like magical protection. On that note, Grand Master Arenthial knows what he's doing. Loath as I am to admit it, his son's mages have been nothing but helpful thus far. Merrick. Okay, anything else here? Doesn't look like it. We have ten lockpicks at the moment. Blueprint, leather shield, and some coal. Okay, let's quick save again. Why do we get 15 experience points? Oh, I guess from lock picking. Shit, can you smell that? That's fire. So, these guys really are trying to destroy our research. <sighs> we have to do something. You're adept at magic, right? Take this spell and use it to put out the fires. If I'm right, the mercenaries are trying to destroy the stone fragments. We have to stop them. You take the lower part of the ruin. Try to save as many stones as you can. I'll take the upper part, and when it's all done, we'll meet here again. Oh, and one more thing. If you should find my assistant Sev down there, try to take him alive and bring him to me. I want to take care of him myself, okay? Then let's get going. Okay, fire extinguisher added to the spell book. Extinguish as many burning stone fragments as possible, and it's at like zero out of eight. So first things first, let's utilize... I always forget, where are these spell books again? Because they put them like... Uh, not there, not there. Where are they? There they are. Okay, so we got a fire extinguisher or something like that. Where is that? Uh, let's go ahead and read all of these to clear them out of our inventory. Death Breath, a maelstrom of dark might that does 10 points of entropy damage while draining the caster's health. Uh, Death Spark, 18 points of entropy damage, same thing, while damaging the caster. Okay, it's a projectile though. Dream Eater, does 9 points of magic damage to creatures and humans and 1 point of additional 
damage for three points in psionics hidden attacks and attacks on mesmerized enemies count as distant hidden attacks okay sure uh panic rank two creatures and people up to level nine flee for eight seconds summon battle axe create a battle axe for 120 seconds mystical binding increases its damage summon bow same thing summon ghostly wolf summon a ghostly wolf at level four to fight for you for 90 seconds and where is fire extinguisher it should be here no but everything seems to be marked as red uh do we already have that perhaps oh she just okay i see okay fire extinguisher extinguishes a burning fire in the research institute let's dual wield that let's save the game i remember this very much so because this is quite tricky and i'm gonna do it like i did it successfully the last time i'm gonna try to save all the fires and because of that uh encyclopedia something okay great let's take that because of that we're gonna run past these enemies and just deal with this so there's one fire there's one fire okay that's one there's gonna be people attacking us that's two maybe that's two okay excuse me all right so i don't think any more yet yeah, no more back there now these guys are gonna be chasing us. this is so hard to do i remember when i streamed this live on twitch seriously it took me forever Okay, that's another two. Okay. That's five, I think. So many things are happening at the moment. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's use um, a health potion rancid. I don't know if this is actually working. Okay, there we go. God, it's like so hard to actually take down. Okay, I think we did it. Excuse me. No. Excuse me. What is even happening? What is even happening? Okay, there's three more up ahead. We might have to use all of our health potions. We rescued Seth, by the way, which was another optional thing. And I think also we're timed, which is why I'm rolling through this quickly. Okay, come on, come on, come on. All right, let's close that. No. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, this is, um, this is very hard to do. This is very, very hard to do. I mean, we could, we could just, like, attack them, but the thing is... Do we have one of those potions, by the way, that, like... Health has increased... Uh, okay, we'll do that. Um, health regenerates faster. Yeah, we'll, we'll drink both of those. Okay, we gotta do this quickly. Let's try it again. That's one. Come on, man! Okay, that's two. Yeah, see, sometimes... They just don't go away. Okay, and then we got, of course, Seth... Bl oh, no, where am I going? Yeah, so the thing is, I think this is timed... Which is why I'm running through here. I don't think you can actually do all of them as well as kill all the dudes. I don't even think I would be able to kill all the dudes anyway. So I'm trying to just... Okay, come on, come on, come on. Alright, let's get these two over here. I'm gonna assume that's done, maybe? Can we quick save, by the way? Okay, yeah, we'll just keep, uh, keep loading this quick save. All right, did we do it? Okay, we did it. All right, let's quick save again. Okay, now we only got three more to do. I don't. What happens when that happens, man? That's so crazy. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what effects are hitting us right now. We've got mages pelting us from behind. Oh, boy, this is awful. All right, let's try to reload some of our stamina here. We've got, like, three more fires to take out. Oh, my God. Are you serious? The same thing happened. That is so annoying. Come on, man. Yeah, that freaking door takes like 20 years to open. Okay, well, luckily. Oh, boy. Great. <laughs> great. We quick saved right when we're getting, like, blinded by the light. Okay, so let's dodge and weave. I'll go ahead and drink another health potion just to be safe. Wait for a stamina recharge. There's probably somebody, like, right behind me. Yeah, that's the person that murders me. Let's get close to the door then. Okay, hello. Hello. All right, there's fire there. That's done. Okay, trying to dodge, duck, and dive? That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean. Okay, one more to go. I'm going to assume there's a door up here. Yep. Oh, Jesus. All right. Health potion. Jump around these people. All right, that's all eight. Uh, I'm going to quick save. Oh, God. Okay. Talk with Lashari. Yeah, well, let's get over here. Can they hit me? I don't think they can hit me. Okay. 
All right, we, we might have been able to do this by the skin of our teeth. Uh, let's use another health potion here. Oh, boy. That was a good swing. Okay, I'm going to try to circumvent all these dudes. I, I don't understand the difficulty at all with this game. I, I know I've said that a lot. Oh, my gosh. Great. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I don't understand the difficulty at all. I mean, this is one of the early... This is one of the earliest main quests. And still, like, it... it, it Spawns like a hundred dudes that we got to deal with. I mean, where is the balance? Okay, what do we have here? Empty parchment. There's like a glowing dagger, dagger of despair. Excuse me. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. All right, the question is, how do we get? Yeah, excuse me. Can I? Can I think? Okay, I'm gonna try to run through him. I don't know where Lashari is, but that's the last of our health potions. I don't think we actually have to kill these people. Um. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, she might be coming up through there. Which is exactly what we need. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that... Oh, God. Okay. Yes, you keep saying that. That's a very mean thing to say, by the way. Oh, we are so gonna die. What is she doing, by the way? Oh, she's, like, electrocuting the people below. I see. Um, I need to use some magic that heals is what I need to do. Boon, right? Heals the caster? Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Okay, now let's activate Assassination in Cold Night. We'll go for this person first. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh. That's one person down. There's like five more. Yeah, if you could not shock the people in the ground, focus on the people that are out of the ground, Lashiri, please, for the love of God. I'll see you guys when this stuff is done. This is just over-the-top difficult. Okay, looks like this is going good, folks, but man, I'm going insane. You have no idea how many tries this has taken. Uh, the amount of enemies in this place is just ridiculous. Granted, I did run through them, so they all kind of, you know, chased after me. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to kill them one by one on normal difficulty either. Uh, and I remember, yeah, like I said, this quest is ridiculously hard. But it looks like we might be able to do it through save scumming, through constantly just quick saving for every little progression. I really can't do ever anything because my... Okay, there we go. My, um... Yeah, my mana does not regenerate fast at all, and my health is in constant dire situations, and we can't... <sighs> we have to, like, use our mana to heal ourselves, but that's hard because we don't have any mana, and yeah, it, it was just awful. Looks like we've done it. Uh, there are some enemies over in the distance, but... Well, I'll be damned. That's what I call good timing. I take it you were successful? What about the fragments? Did you save them? I did. They're all safe. All of them? Call me a pregnant Lyran. You really are good at what you do. You won't regret it, I swear. What about Sev? Did you find him? I did, yes. Fuck. That little shit. I was hoping I could make him tell us who's behind all this. <sighs> well, whatever. No use crying over spilt milk, I guess. What's your name, anyway? Amidst all this, we didn't have time for formalities. Alok, pleased to meet you. You're pleased? Well, <laughs> that's good to hear. I actually had the feeling that I was a little rough on you. Sorry for that, really. Sometimes I just have a short fuse. <sighs> anyway, let's talk about the reason you're here. For starters, tell me how you managed to get the old ranter to trust you. That doesn't happen very often. It's a long story. Tell Ashari about the visions, the temple, and the fever. I've got time. Oh my god, that was so tough to do. We did everything, though. We saved Seth. We also got all the fires removed. Uh-huh. So, you're saying that you learned all this? The magic, the swordplay, in such a short time? That's fascinating, to say the least. And these visions, if I understand correctly, you foresaw the death of the two apothecary? Yes, and I know how crazy all of this sounds. <laughs> it does indeed. But hey, who am I to judge? Here you are, the mysterious stranger who appeared out of thin air and, without much fuss, took out an entire group of swords. And even better, now you tell me that these skills come from studying magic for only a couple of weeks. And that you can see the future. You certainly are full of s 
Shit. I beg your pardon? Not you, sorry. I mean, I, I just had a strange thought. But no, that would be crazy. Way too unlikely. Well, unlikely isn't a stranger these days. What do you mean? Well, I'd like to speak freely, but I'm bound to my agreement with the Holy Order. However, I will tell Constantine and old Aranthiel about my theory. And you, you will probably have to be patient until the latter decides to put you in the picture. Sorry. But if my idea is correct, <laughs> then we'll be in a position to really kick ass. Anyway, hold still for a moment. Ready? All right, let's do this. Don't worry, it'll just tickle a bit. <laughs> That's probably not good. <laughs> oh boy, down to no health again. Thank you very much, Lashiri. Uh, are you alright? That wasn't on purpose. Really. Never, never mind. Oh my, you really do look terrible. I will make this right, I promise. I have no idea what just happened. The ritual isn't exactly harmless, but normally you shouldn't feel more than a weak tickle at most, regardless of how it goes down. But, hmm, maybe this has something to do with the strangeness of your aura. I already said this, but it's so different. You're not the first one to tell me that. What exactly do you mean? It's hard to explain. Somehow complex and cold, maybe. But hey, I'm probably just out of practice. It worked, and that's what matters. Your fever will now settle down to an endurable level, and maybe even vanish if you're careful. And now, I suggest you return to Constantine. I will get the stones to safety in the meantime. You need anything else? If not, see you later. We're going to meet again. I can feel it. So what are these stone fragments good for? You didn't tell me yet. Well, put simply, they're supposed to protect us. But old Aranthiel will tell you more about it later. All right then. See you around. Take care. She's gonna leave me like this? Okay, so we only need about, I think, 78 uh, experience points in order to level up again. That was quite, uh, yeah, that was quite freaking tricky to do. Um, took me so many deaths, but we were able to do everything, which I am happy about. Uh, at the start of the next episode, we're going to go through this cave. We're going to go backwards and take all of the things that we've missed because there's probably a lot of stuff that'll help us out. What? Oh, okay. There's probably a lot of stuff that will help us out in terms of potions and weapons and things like that. So I will face this door and put a mental memory to remember to go back through that door. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you are enjoying this series. Uh, I know a lot of you cannot play this as it is a mod, and I am glad to show uh, you it, and I hope that you're enjoying it. Uh, thanks to everybody that supports this channel and myself on Patreon or anywhere else. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.